since we got some time waiting on parts to come in, we're waiting for all the rear end components to come in, we're waiting for the beams to come in on the front, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the shop for a little while and go ahead and get that frame back in and do some welding on it. So for now, we're gonna get this thing out, get the cab set on some rollers and put in the corner, get the frame in and start mocking it up for that new suspension. So we came out Saturday morning and got this rear end torn down and just realized that we didn't really like it. It's got some 1980s axle flip stuff on it. it had a single web uh, center section for the nine inch and it's really wide. So what we decided to do is go with a Speedway Fab nine inch setup, narrowed four inches, 35 spline, 370 gears, posi in the middle, Fab nine inch. We're gonna four link this thing, put it on coilover. So all the stuff we thought we were gonna do last week we changed our minds, so we're scrapping all this and ordering some new stuff. shop clean got the f100 kind of put away we've got some other trucks that need to come in we found that the uh, squirrels have been having quite a bit of fun up in this hood so we know an idea a place that we're going to patch or put some screen over but in the rails of this hood there's probably 200 pounds of pecans and acorns and twigs and whatever else have you anyway so we've got two chevys coming in one's got a uh, an issue with the engine wiring management distribution block However, Chevrolet calls it just the fuse box, the top section of it. It's got a short to ground inside of it. So we're gonna get that fixed. We've also got another, another Chevrolet coming in, Matt Estelle's. He's our AC guy. He's the one that hooked us up with a sweet heater in here now. He needs new shocks on his truck because it kind of does the er -ee, er -ee thingy. So we're gonna fix that and uh, get those out and get that frame in and start doing some modifications. <laughs> 